Okay, guys, I'm going to be the only commentator here. Um, you guys know it. It's Chicks. Uh, videos will be uploaded to YouTube if you can't watch it. Uh, watch the stream. And here we go. Uh, Set versus Loki. We'll see what the map is here. And uh, there's no restarts. Nothing. So whatever map we get, that's the map we're going to play on. Here at the bottom of the map, we got uh, Set, Megair. And he he's going to go straight for the dock. And he's got three fish here, so that's very nice. And just using his vision down here. Not too bad, not too bad. Fish is looking pretty good here. Uh, at the top of the map, we have Loki. And it's Weasel in red. He's going straight for his dock. He's got some, uh, some hunt there. This looks like it's a two berry start for him. Oh, no. Okay, there's more berries there. That's good, that's good. So it's a pretty good map. Um, six berries for each player. Um, you got a forward, uh, forward mine there, tower protecting it. It's not too bad. This guy he has his mine a little more exposed towards the left, but you, you still got the tower um, in front. So we got the set player just uh, converting those animals, walruses, and scouting with uh, the hyena. Now, set is uh, likely to uh, usually go age two, get the shifting sands, and shift over a number of bills. Usually it's three in an ox cart, as far as I know. Got some scouting here. Got a town center next to the water. That's a bit uh, scary. Well, this one's next to the water too, so I guess we're on even here. And I guess since he didn't scout his third TC here, I'm uh, guessing um, the third TC settlements should be in the middle. Ooh, look at this relic right here. Improves hero speed. That's 10% for those of you who don't know. It's actually quite a nice relic for uh, for Loki. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm just uh, realizing that now. Very, very nice. Um, going for his hunt there in the middle of the map. Well, to the side of the map, I guess. And uh, let's see what's going on down here. He's going, it looks like he's going to build his house there in front of his gold mine just to protect it. He already got four fishing boats there and two docks for May Gear. Some more uh, conversion with the walruses. Got this bear doing some scouting as well as this hyena still doing some scouting. A few bills on gold there for the Loki player and uh, wood. The rest on food here on the hunt. Pretty good fish. Pretty good fish for both sides. You know, you got uh, a lot of fish next to the shore. Although his starting dock was really not good. Not good. Very unlucky. Maybe I would go straight to the water with my starting off Sark, start scouting from here and go all the way this way. That way, you know, I, I think he was a bit hasty to build his starting dock here. So, I don't know. But he does have fish on both sides. And uh, personally, what I like to do is I like to build my docks in the corners of the maps, such as this corner right here. Usually you got a lot of fish here, so Megair did here, but that was his second one. Of course, you know the Egyptians uh, they only spent 50 gold a pop there, so pop it. And we got a temple, defensive temple. Yes, right behind the mine there. You got uh, the Loki spy on that gold miner there. And uh, you got Weasel just building forward with his temple. That's really forward. We should be expecting a lot of aggressive play here. Lots of raids. What's this? Mythian is cheaper. That's also 10%. I don't know if that's off the favor or not. Still a lot of scouting. So, you know, it's still we're start, still starting up here with the start of the game here. Not, not much really exciting going on, but... You know, just finishing his berries here. He's got 80 food on his last one. 
You got an idle villager there. Let's just get some hunt here, some hunt there. And you got uh, three out of the four walls is uh, converted. Just making a priest now, a couple priests. And you got some hersairs going straight for the. Looks like we're just going for straight for the mine. Looks like he's going straight for the mine here. What's this guy doing? Already aging up. Hem Hemdal. Sorry. I'm not all that good with the pronunciation of the Greek uh, terms. Tha. Okay, I know I know that I pronounced that one right. I hope I did. Okay, Hemdal. Ooh, this is quite interesting. So we got a long house here, two temples. And, uh... Essentially, what's how this works is he's only going to make dwarves and stick them on gold. You get that uh, nice. He got that relic. Very, very nice. Very, very well done. Ooh, there is shifting sands. Where did he shift to? Where did he shift to? Over there. Okay. Um. Weasel just uh, losing some health on his horse hair. Doesn't look like he lost any units at this point. Uh, shifting sands. I'm not too sure about that shifting sands. He just shifted his units to the other side of the map. Didn't do much damage though. So. Uh, losing two horse hairs and animals there. And uh, you got a little teddy bear dying there. From Megar. Priest doing some harassment. Looks like uh, Weasel wants to back off a little bit. Uh, you got some Axemen here, so I don't think uh, Weasel would want to fight that. Although these priests look like they're trapped because uh, Weasel did some excellent micro with that longhouse. As I mentioned, lots of aggressive play here. Very, very well done uh, by both players. So. Although Weasel needs to start a boarding mission here because you got a lot of Axemen coming out. Um, ooh, that pair looks like he's in trouble. And what's this? Wadja going down? Yeah, it looks like Wadja is going down. And, uh, what do we got here? Wadja not quite down. Okay. I guess he just forgot about him. Not sure what happened there, but either way, looks like he wants to get his units back in action. Build those houses, build that long house, and get those units out, because he's popped. What else we got going on? Axeman. Okay, he's still making Axeman. He's got three barracks. Okay, so Megair is just doing Axeman, Slingers, and perhaps Spearman uh, later in the game. Now, what's Megair been up to here? Okay, so it looks like he's just going to back off here, all the way back to his town. But I want to take a quick peek here. Uh, okay, no upgrades on his fish. He does have fish all along that line there. <coughs> And uh, looks like they're at a stalemate right here. Very nice stalemate. And as you can see here, Weasel's starting to mix in some uh, cavalry. And uh, Weasel just uh, adding his uh, MDL units. Very nice combo. Slingers. Slingers and Axemen. Doing the job. I would put in some Spearmen in there too. Uh, that looks like Axemen is would be sufficient. Ouch. Okay, looks like Megair is going to have to get out of there and get some more Priest. Uh, yeah, he's making Priest now. He's got three Priests in queue. Uh, and all three Barracks is making Axemen only. Not sure why he's not making Spearmen, but that's something. Okay, so you got Tower Fire and Slingers right now. And you got the uh, Spy, as you can see here, on the Villagers Mining Gold there. So Weasel's got a clear note uh, of when, whenever he's going to go up there. Priest getting stuck there, a bit unfortunate. What's happening here? Yeah, it doesn't look like they're having any water fights. No water fights here. Uh, looks like Megara will let the Norse player fish, although 
Weasel has made a couple uh, long boats. And uh, Weasel getting back in action here with his uh, cavalry uh, hearsayers. What is this? Canute Slush Boiler. Okay. Eel Breaker. Snow Shield. I always like to, uh, well, I can't say always, but you know, sometimes uh, I like click on these hearsayers just to see the names. Some interesting ones come up sometimes. Um, does Bangar have enough priests? This is quite the battle here. He's got, okay, a lot of villagers. Wow, and he's got some mercenary mix in there too. Okay, Mangar is doing very good, very good, very good. Uh, Priest and the Pharaoh on the, on the myth units. And Weasel is aborting the mission. He's getting out of there. Very well done. Looks like that battle was definitely in favor of uh, Mangar. Although there was casualties on both sides. Uh, Mangar also uh, making some mercenary that early hurts hurts the economy. Puts Megar back on top of the scoreboard here. And yeah, uh, Megar is making some spearmen now. He's been for a little while, but I didn't mention it. Uh, he hasn't upgraded them though. Neither has Axeman. He's always fighting with his pharaoh, keep note. And he's going for that middle TC. What's this guy's doing? Okay, so I guess he found his mine back there. And he's got more uh, classical units coming in. Weasel going for this mine again. And Magar just noticing now, and he's going back. Okay, what's this guy doing? Taking that TC without too much problems. And uh, he's got shaft mine, very nice go for the hunt and uh, looks like he's still got good fish he's got that upgrade now and uh, I'm assuming weasel has upgrade no Megar is harassing the fish I uh, didn't catch that it looks like they've been having a little uh, battle for some time now uh, just killing another fishing boat there um, what's going on in weasel's town so it looks like he's just starting to farm uh, he does only have pickaxe in comparison to shaft mine for uh, Megar. And uh, Weasel going for a second TC towards the left side of the map there. And uh, Megar just. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. He hasn't lost the hill there. So, yeah. yeah his, his army is always uh, close by. And uh, at this point in the game, two, uh, both players have two TCs and uh, looking to get a third perhaps, but it is close to the water so they might want to keep it for later. And it is being scouted by both players as well. Where's that? Uh, All right, so who's messaging me on Google? What's going on? All right, so um, yeah, so Megar has been trying to get this town center down here, but uh, Weasel has just been denied, denied, denied. Though Megar has got that Scorpion Man, which is doing absolute nasty damage. That Scorpion Man could probably take on 50 cavalry. Uh, 50, 50 rating cab. Oh, sorry, 15 rating cab without a problem. I mean, as you just saw there, they all got annihilated. Uh, Slinger's not upgraded yet. Megar going for that uh, siege works, and he did age up with ancestors. Keep in mind, how long ago? Uh, just recently. Just recently. And so from here, uh, Weasel will need Heroic Age as well. And there he is right there, uh, Braggy, 98%. Looks like uh, Megar just uh, wants to clear out these buildings here. He's got Migdal here, set Migdals are only 300 gold a pop. Very cheap, so you can build them next to gold mines without you know, losing too much. 
Leviathan going straight for uh, Weasel's side of the, the map here. And uh, looks like Weasel's only got four or five fishing boats here uh, fishing. While uh, Megair has got over 20 fishing boats. So that's definitely a big advantage. 20 in comparison to 5. Well, it looks like he's got more than 5, but yeah, something like that. Fourteen minutes in, this is a group stage match. Uh, Weasel and Megair for a twenty-five hundred dollar cash tournament. Uh, there is also thousand dollar prizes when that comes down to that comes down to uh, CD keys and stuff like that. Uh, Age of Empires complete editions and such. So Weasel going down for this uh, stronghold here. Scores look pretty good for both players. Uh, Weasel's playing catch up on food income. He needs to get more farms. Three is not cutting it, though he is hunting here. Mangar just pushing out from all over the place. I don't know. Uh, Weasel looks like he's doing some damage here, but uh, Mangar's got some uh, mercenary to deal with it. Very nice game so far. Uh, Weasel's got uh, just the two classical upgrades for his economy. Looks like these siege towers are going to go. A little bit of a mismicromanagement there by Weasel. Megair does have Query. Megair, sorry if I said Weasel. Um, Megair just backing up his army from here. He's got too many uh, thrown axemen. He's got uh, army composition mainly of axemen here, so that DC is going to go. And Weasel's going to have a hard time catching uh, catching up here if he is going to catch up. Because at this point of the game, Megair has a lot of fish, a lot of economy. And uh, Weasel's only got three villages farming. Though he is 8%, 10% hell. And uh, he could fire giant spam with her sares. Not sure. Not sure, but it just seems to me that Megair is just way too ahead right now. I don't think hell is going to make a difference. Yeah, I don't think it'll make much of a difference because you got a lot of villages here on wood, only three on food, so he's not going to be able to make corsairs. He's got a ton of gold though, so where's he going to get his other gold mine? Yeah, he can't get his other gold mine unless he goes all the way out here, which is a possibility. And Megair looks like he wants to push right away. No break. There's ancestors and there is flaming weapons which was forced. It's too bad, flaming weapons would have been nice in the cage with the fire giants. But flaming weapons does not affect the myth units, so you know, as soon as uh Weasel's army got depleted. The flame weapons wasn't as effective. And here we go. We got uh, some fire giants in queue. We got the Nidhogg. And uh, you got Ton of Breeze by Big Bear here. Still got surviving ancestors. Not much Weasel can do. Um, Running out of options, and he's going to call it a good game. Very well done. Very well done.